Strong Mind, Strong Mind is a company that McMahon has started. It's a great kind of movement in the mental health space. Just here, uh, mainly to kind of uh, mentor and make sure the guys and girls are mentally healthy and just talking to the crew, giving them support, encouraging them, whether it's uh, in mental health or the physical fitness side of it. I think it's extremely beneficial having Sarah coming up. Today's presentation is on suicide awareness and prevention. We had a few conversations about mental health and a few issues and we touched on that a bit and he, he gave me a few advices here and there. We're really privileged to have his presence on site to deliver a real strong message about mental health, mental awareness. We go to all sites that McMahon have. We just educate him in pointing him in the right direction. Knowledge is power, I think. 3,128 people with death by suicide. These are the stats from 2017. I've seen changes since he came up last time. The amount of people that have come and talked to me about his presence being here, and it's bolstered what we always do with our guys up here is in peer support. He helped me out a lot, and he also told me a bit about himself. Towards the end of the presentation, I will be talking to you about the pathways which helped me when I was dealing through a lot of depression and anxiety throughout my career. It's good that, um, that we're reaching out and we can tell the story. Then they feel the confidence to remove the stigma and kind of come and have that chat, whether it's with me or whether it's their friends or their loved ones or the supervisor, where they can reach out. It's one of the things that I'm very proud of with working for McMahon's, because McMahon's don't only talk about mental health, they actually do what they say they're going to do. Uh, the integrity of McMahon's is, is fantastic. The importance of going to the gym uh, will help with stress, you know, distracting from worries, increases brain serotonin when you do work out, uh, increases level in endorphins, you know, so there's a lot of benefits to, to working out. Follow the numbers, it's not that hard, five seconds, four, three, two, one, go stick the numbers. It is hard when you don't want to go to the gym, so this is where my team, we come in and make a plan for you. Having an activity to do can, you know, limit depression or reduce uh, those kind of um, mental health issues that occur especially in men. It's something that I'm pretty passionate about. You know, obviously telling the story and removing that stigma, because if I can talk about it, anyone can. <laughs>